welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. What I'm going to be discussing with you in this reaction video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to explore a little deeper into the 304 mentality. I'm going to have um, a woman who actually brags about being it, and they're going to have a woman asking why you want to be one, <laughs> among other things. So hold on. This is for educational purposes. Hold on one second. I put it on your screen, y'all. Boom. This is the one who is proud to be a 304. <laughs> All right, now, let's get it. It's my mind. We're back at it again. Um, I'm about to be showing you some, you feel me, shit you should know as a 304. You feel me? <laughs> shit that you should already know. It's basic 304 101, okay? So first things first, everybody should know you always have to have your shit on them. You feel me? You always have to have your condoms on you because if you don't, duh, uh, better safe than sorry. But if you don't, you feel me? That's all. Shame on you. That's, that's all. No shame whatsoever, is it? No shame at all, y'all. Don't mind getting on social media, telling women how to be 304s, telling them how to prepare for it like a disaster kit for a hurricane, to have certain things already prepared for the moment of hoeing. Just in case, have this thing, have that thing. It's what we used to call, or still do call, a hoe bag or a spend the night bag. They have all these things. They have all this stuff, but they ain't got no good man. They ain't got no good lifestyle. They ain't got their own car. In their name, they ain't got no apartment, they ain't got no home, they ain't got no future. But what they do have is advice on how to be a woman who sleeps around with men for money or just to sleep around. She had nothing else better to do than to come on social media to encourage your daughters how to walk in the steps of a ratchet woman. That's crazy, man. Let's keep going, though. You feel me? That's all. Shame on you. That's that's all on you. If you know, you know, you're gonna need some wipes or a hand rag, you know, to clean your your pull and to clean all the bacteria and stuff off your shit. Damn. Another thing you also gonna need is your your toothbrush. You can't be having yuck mouth. You feel me? Going from trick to trick, like no, we can't. We can't be doing it. Don't forget the lubrication because. Tuh. Them condoms be dry as fuck sometimes. You're gonna need some of this. And your protection. Don't, don't, don't play with it. Now think about that for a second, man. She's even telling you that it's dangerous to be a, a freak who get paid for the coochie to go ahead and um carry some kind of weapon. Because you might need it. I want y'all to think about what you just saw. Let me put another um thing on the screen, man. But that's crazy to me. That's really insane. Give me a moment as I pull it up. Boom. Okay, almost there. Yeah, but anyway, like I'm saying, you got women out here who have no problem letting you know that she loves to be a hoe. Let's get it. Why is it so common for women to be fighting to be three or fours? And for those who do not know what it means, it's a promiscuous woman. That's what a three or four is. And we are living in a society and a time that is encouraged to be promiscuous. Because when you fight against be women shouldn't be modest. When we're fighting for women to do whatever they want to do with their bodies. When we're telling women to show their bodies off, there's nothing wrong with it. We are promoting promiscuous behavior. I don't know, no matter how you slice and dice it, that's what you're promoting. You're promoting women to be promiscuous and sell their bodies and use their bodies as a piece of meat to get what they want. Exactly. When all these women used to say back in the day, I'm not a piece of meat. Now they looking at you like, I am meat. I am beef stew. Get as much as you want of this coochie right here. Just be sure to give me something. Give me enough money to get a lime green wig and to get my nails did and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? You know why? Because I'm a mustard back helper and I love hoeing. And that's the shame that we see nowadays in these women. That's what we're promoting. And the fight that you get when you try to tell women to go the opposite way, they fight so hard. You're fighting to be a 304. You're fighting to be a promiscuous woman. What does that teach young girls? What does it say for them? We have to recognize that this stuff is hurting us. It is hurting us. Young women are watching this, they are seeing this, and they are seeing this fight and pushback that we think we're so liberated, but no, we look crazy. We look crazy, and it's not healthy. 
We have to stop this. It is not good for our, for our community at all. Think about it. Think about the day that you live in today where women will fight against being modest. They fighting against being a virgin to the day they marry. They are fighting against not having non-marital births. They want to have children without the husband. They want to have families without marriage now. This is a sad day, man. Yeah. One more thing for you I got to put up here. One second I put on your screen, y'all. Just It blows my mind sometimes. Let's get it. That added to right. that chaos. So I'm going to tell you all something, man. The reason it's hard to find a good woman is because a good woman is somewhere being a good woman. Bingo. One of the main reasons why it's hard to find a good woman is because a good woman is going to be in an environment that is good and classy. You know why it's easy to find a, a no good for nothing 304? Because she always going to be in environments where there's problems, where there's drugs, where there's alcohol, where there's a lot of people talking loud, where people being vulgar, where people are always arguing and fighting. People are always plotting and scheming. They always sleeping with somebody else's man because bad women love to be in bad environments and also to be in atmospheres that is conducive to being a no good for nothing. Must have back here for hope. They love to be in those environments. But a woman with class will separate herself from those environments. And from the people who act like that But a mustard back helper encourages that behavior A mustard back helper accepts that behavior A mustard back helper wants more of that behavior They will seek out purposely People like them to go hang out with To go to clubs with To cheat on a man with To do all types of unspeakable and despicable things Despicable, sorry Things That's what they want to do That's why it's hard to find a good woman Most times, gentlemen you got to be careful yourself because the environment that you're going to, you're not going to find any good women in those environments. You're going to find them but jump off and like, you know, things you can beat up. You know what I mean? Now, I ain't saying that um, good women don't go to lounges or clubs, but man, they do not go to a club every weekend. They do not go to a club, go to the club throughout the week. They're not in those type of places because they got shit to do. They got jobs. They got responsibilities. Have you ever noticed that the woman who is the biggest, biggest mustard back helper, the hoe, always seem to be the woman who don't have responsibilities. She's not taking care of her responsibility. The government taking care of this. She always got somebody to keep her kids. It's the woman who runs away from responsibility that tends to be in these type of environments that tends to be the worst type of women to be around. And don't get it wrong. They can look dang good. They can look real good. But on the inside... They don't look so good. They are very savagely unattractive on the inside. Can you dig it? It's simply put like a good woman is somewhere being a good woman. That's why you don't see them in the club half naked, sweated out in the summertime. That's why you don't see them on, on, on a podcast or on TV somewhere talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that ain't no good woman. That. 100% facts, man. Good women going to be in good environments, good situations, and good atmospheres. The negative women going to be in the other types. You dig what I'm saying? Well, anyway, you let me know what you think about this in the comments, man. I hope y'all got something from it. And I'll be talking to y'all real soon. Y'all take it easy now, you hear?